Before I start this video, someone asked me in the comments to see what my inventory looked like, and here it is. And there you have it. Welcome back to Pixel Survival 2. This video is going to be a raking video. In an earlier video, I actually made a copy of this one. And I wanted to just make it better because I didn't include bosses. And, of course, there's newly added Medina runes as well. In this video, I'm going to be raking them today. We're going to start off with Grasslands. The first one is a slime. You can already tell that's going to be the easiest. Again, of course... Your slime is going to be the easiest because it's probably the first enemy that, that you ever has been counted from. Uh, yeah. It has 10 health, does not do that much damage, only does 1 damage. It, even if you have 0 defense, it still does 1 damage. I would say this enemy is probably very standard. Gives is probably one of the first enemies that, enemies has, that has been ever added in Pixel Survival 2. Of course, enemies have to be harder, and that comes with the Scorpion. The Scorpion is probably one of the hardest enemies in Grasslands, but I'm going to put it on hard, main reasons. This enemy is really difficult. I mean, even if you're just starting out, they can do two damage like really fast. If you're not really uh, slick at the game, you can really dive right really fast. And it runs pretty fast, so yeah, I better be careful about that. Wouldn't really recommend encountering this guy. I would probably suggest you to jump over it. Again, this is only for really starters. I'm gonna only start with grasslands. And the majority of the people that are just starting out, I'm just gonna rake them from, just to skill them out, so yeah. The enemy we have next is the mummy. The mummy is probably like a, probably one of, like the second easiest. Main reason what I'll say it is because it dashes. It doesn't really keep following you. It normally just like dashes then stops in place. It doesn't really take them long, but it. I mean, I'd say they're pretty easy to navigate because most of the time you can jump right over them. Only thing is that they do a lot of damage, and that's what I really don't like. The next enemy we have is the Fire, or Fira, whatever you call it. This guy floats around. He basically does not have much health. It probably has the same health as Slime. This is probably like a really easy one. Only reason why it's good because it actually drops Fire Crystals, Monster Hide, and of course Wooden Armor for the starters out there. I would say this enemy is probably not really annoying because they only do one damage, which I'm kind of glad they do. Uh, th there's nothing else much to say about this enemy. The only, only thing it's what sucks about it is that it only flies, and that's basically it. And that's why it, it's difficulty is easy. So the last enemy I'm going to cover for Grasslands is the Stone. The Stone is from Grasslands 2 and 3. This enemy is pretty standard. All he does is just go up and down. He does chase you, but he just goes up and down, taking one damage to the player if it hits you. See, this guy is quite annoying because you can't even kill him. Only reason I'll put this on normal is because they don't do as much damage and you can really easily navigate around them if... I think... I, I'm not really sure if the script would like, hit you like perfectly normal, but I think they're really easy to navigate around. I don't think they're really big of a deal if you have potions. Okay, now we're going to the bosses from Grasslands. I'm going to start off with the Grasslands Dinosaur from the arena. This enemy is probably really easy for main reasons. It does less damage than the hand and it doesn't really have that much health. I'm pretty sure it only has 1000 health, which that might seem a lot, but honestly, it is really easy to kill. It doesn't really drop good stuff, but I would say if for starters, if you kill it, congrats, congratulations. That is really good. And of course, the enemy that's the hardest is of course the hand. This hand is probably one of the hardest, main reason because it never stops, it does not stop. It keeps attacking you until it dies, or until you die. This enemy is probably one of, the, one of the hardest bosses, or enemies, in Grasslands overall. The enemy, this enemy can drop good loot, but most of the time it can't. But luckily, it will drop pretty good stuff. So the next enemy, of course, is the Survival Grasslands enemy. The first enemy I have is the Dark Witch, and would put them on normal for main reasons. Not just because of how much health it has, it's, just, it's the fact that you can't, like, AFK on uh, the game, which I understand that, and I don't really understand that. And of course, I'm going to put the Dragon Ball 2, because, you know, they're the same. Yeah, I call that Dragon Ball, because, of course, it looks like one, too. These enemies are probably, like, the exact same thing, of course, because they shoot, they shoot projectiles at you, and that's basically it. Only do one damage, you have high defense, and... 
I I know a high defense. I think if you have like mid average defense, but yeah, that's basically it for those enemies right there. We have some standard enemies, and that is the brother uh, little brother's king eye. This is basically one of like a really mid average enemy that you'll face against because it probably has about 500 health and it does about probably 15 damage and uh, to them as well. And again the stones are basically the exact same thing except the stone probably emit green particles when it's destroyed though these two enemies are probably like mid-standard they attack you and that's basically it they don't have that much uh they both don't have that much health again 500 health and i believe they don't i believe the stones will come as much but that's it for both of them i they're really standard enemies and i'm pretty sure you'll face the, against them the last enemy in survival grasslands is the bats this enemy is probably really forgotten because it doesn't really uh, do much purpose except fly like the shat black shadows basically just flies and that's and attacks to whenever it wants to that's basically it for the enemy uh yeah these like this enemy only oh, is only from survival grasslands and yeah there's nothing else much to say from that one and let's go on to darklands Darklands, the good era to, to grind old roots and legendary roots. Yeah, except Ice Cavern because that's a pain. Our first enemy we have is the Stingers. I'll call these Stingers because they have a pointy thing at the end, I'm pretty sure. Or that looks like an alien, I really have no idea. These enemies are probably like one of the main enemies that you'll face against in Darklands. For main reason that these enemies do, they don't do, do as much damage, but their high at attack speed is really insane. And this sucks. Uh, zombies, there's nothing, this is the exact same as mummies, they do the exact same thing, they jump right over you, there's nothing else but to say for mummies, you know, I'm gonna put this on super easy, cause, you know, it's really easy and you'll probably have enough, like, reaction time to face against them. For our next enemy on the list is the UFOs, these guys are probably one of the most da high damaging, uh, enemy, enemies in Darklands, I'll take, I'll make this for main reasons, cause, they do quite a lot of damage for people that don't have high defense. Only reason I'm going to put them on normal is because they, of course, they fly and you can hit them right away and then they won't bother you for a little bit. I would say these guys are probably really standard like any any other flying enemy. They, If you have a knockback weapon, they'll go right up and they'll attack you probably like in a few seconds or so. The enemies aren't really much. They have quite a bit of health, but not as much for you to take hours trying to kill them. Our next boss is like a mini boss is the hand this hand is really good main reason because it can drop a lot of good stuff like the pink lantern shield and most of the other stuff and the mini dinosaur boss as well the mini dinosaur boss is really easy because it can drop old roots and backstreet boys I'm pretty sure caveman too these uh, they, these both bosses are really standard uh, dinosaur has like probably like three like 300 health or 200 and they're really easy and of course hand can drop a lot of good stuff as well and let's go on to Darklands Arena. For Darklands Arena, we have Squidward. We're gonna put him on normal. It's like any other standard enemy. It has probably like a same, like probably the same health as the Scorpions or Slimes in Darklands Arena. These enemies are really standard. I'm not gonna say much about them, and they're just a really standard enemy that you're gonna face against because these guys probably only go. I think they only go from Grasslands Two or Three and Darklands Arena. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we have the dinosaur. The Darklands dinosaur. This boss is probably like one of the easiest and is the like worst enemy uh, boss to fight because of the loot it drops is terrible. I really recommend dinosaur as you're fighting it because it doesn't really drop good stuff, but it can drop good stuff. I got a Volcan a helmet from it too, and it's yeah, good. So the next enemy is hand. I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on normal because you know not as much as uh, as King because he doesn't have as much health as the uh, king because it does and I mean I'm not really sure how, uh, if it does more damage than the king but I'm pretty sure it doesn't this is like the second hardest boss to phase against in Darklands arena this hand is pretty easy there's nothing else, else much to say to it and yeah this normals is where it takes off all right don't get confused uh this is a hell king I did feel like taking a picture from Darklands arena so this is Darklands king this is like the best boss to fight against it not only like how much health and damage it does but it can tend to drop good stuff. I believe it can drop combo book four if you're lucky enough. This boss is really standard and there's nothing else much to say from it. And it's a really good boss to face against in Darklands Arena. 
I'm gonna go like go really fast pace on these because this video is gonna is really long. It's already nine minutes in, so I'm gonna try my best just to explain the enemies as fast as I can. We have Mrs. Eyes. I'm gonna put him put her on hard because of how much health it has and the damage it does. Really insane. I wouldn't really recommend. Only good thing is that you can jump. It's a small hit, smaller hitbox and you can jump right over it. And as well as hand, this enemy has less health than Mrs. Eye, but it it does attack more aggressively because of course it's hand next enemy is the black shadow i'm gonna put him on put him on a uh, norm actually normal this enemy is really hard because of course it blends into the background really well and it's kind of hard if you play on a uh, uh, low brightness and it's at night and it's nighttime in the game this enemy sucks i don't really i'm not a really big fan of it this only reason i don't like it is because of course it blends through one good thing is of course it's a flying enemy so you can just knock back it and it's all good next enemy is the witch the witch is very standard it's exact same as dark witch and the dragon ball shoots projectiles and that's basically it it's quite annoying but hey they're really easy to face against the next enemy is the hell hell king this king this boss is with the really easy because its health isn't really that much and it's really not really that hard to kill because how much damage it do does is pathetic compared compared to queen but other than that the king can drop uh, good stuff and not really good stuff and as always as queen is going to be the hardest from the entire like pixel rival 2 want to count this towards queen 2 and 3 as well because the queen is very hard because of how much damage it does depending on how much defense you have can drop really good stuff can drop hell sword combo book five all the good stuff but it's a really rare chance we have one of the most annoying enemies from hell 2 is the is the gas from hell 2 of course these enemies suck because of course they clip through walls and then attack whenever they want they're like flying enemies but they have really weird mechanics like all the other flying enemies these enemies suck, but they don't really drop anything, which makes them worse. But they don't have much health, which that's basically that's why that comes in at normal. The last enemy or a boss I'm going to convert of in hell is the dinosaur. This dinosaur probably is really hard because how much health it has is really insane and has two versions. And I think it's, when it's at half health, it's more aggressive. It does more damage. Uh, the only thing I hate about this is just, it does not drop like it does not drop anything so yeah that's why this enemy really sucks my own personal opinion this is probably one of the hardest areas for grinding is ice cavern so ice cavern we are going to start off with the tsunami again the tsunami does high damage it attacks really fast and it's a really an en enemy to jump over but if it if like a couple hit you yeah you're done for unless you have snow armor but yeah this enemy is hard and i wouldn't really recommend tanking it the next enemy is the tornado. This is a bit more calm than tornado, uh, than tsunami. I'm sorry. It attacks the same speed, but it does a lot less more damage. It's 53 at max, and tsunami, I believe, it does 82. I believe this enemy is quite more less aggressive because, of course, the damage and it t it, it can drop you good stuff, volcanic ore. But that's a really rare chance because pretty sure they nerfed the drop for uh, volcanic ore from ice cavern i believe that's my own personal opinion i really don't know but that's my only guess <laughs> so we have ice bats these enemies i personally hate them really much this main reason is because ice bats tend to dash at you they're not like any other uh flying enemy because they have weird mechanics like than like the other flying enemies they like they mostly like dash at you then whenever they encounter you so when you ever look at them i believe they go up and then when you're not looking at them they start a charge at you they're kind of like a go like like probably like like ghosts for some reason like when you look at them they don't do anything but when you look back they start chasing you i think that's like that's what they're basically are the next enemy is of course a flying enemy it is the snow the snow is probably really easy for main reasons uh for no, no i want to put on easy for main reasons because if it hits you uh you yeah it's your game over if you're not really good at the game but it doesn't really do this much that much damage and you can really knock back it if you're under the tunnels they're really easy to counter they're not a big threat at all and that's why it comes out easy because probably one of the easiest flying enemies in the game speaking of uh flying enemies we have the butterfly i'm gonna put this right up with snow because it's the exact same thing 
but it does more damage. That is basically it, and of course, it can drop Volcanic Girl, which is really good. There's nothing else much to say for Butterfly. I hate this one so much, but luckily, they toned down the damage a little bit, which I'm really glad of. The last enemy besides Queen 3 is the, of course, the Butterfly Boss. Now, before the Stain got patched, you could kill the Butterfly Boss really easy. You could literally be a noob and with a red laser gun, and boom, it will be dead in probably 5 hours. This boss sucks, I mean, reasons, because it, it can drop good stuff, like the Medinia boss. Uh, the, it can probably, like, drop, like, really good stuff, but that's really rare. Unless you play with friends, you can still do it, but it'll take way longer. Unless you want to do the hard way solo and try to attack it without getting hit, because... Yeah, good luck. And this, I recommend kill. I rather kill uh, Medina boss because it's way more efficient. The last uh, arena that's really hard is, of course, the, is the Ghost Arena. The Ghost One and Two, I'm gonna put them on hard. They are really hard because they do a lot of damage. Only reason I would put them on hard because, of course, you can knock back them. But as soon as the boss spawns, yeah, you're done for. Because I recommend try to kill as much of these as possible before you counter the Ghost boss. I wonder what, we, what could be next. Yes, of course, it's the Ghost Boss. I'll put a scale right next to me. As you can see, it's actually the Ghost Boss. And the moment I took this picture, I died. I, I, I don't know why I still remember that. The Ghost Boss is is the hardest boss in the game, as you can see. The main reason it's hard because it has the same AI as hand. And it does not stop. It keeps moving until it keeps moving. It does not stop. It does have a cooldown. Yes, that's basically it. Uh, Ghost Boss loot is trash, as always, and finally, it's on to Medina Ruins. The last area is Medina Ruins. We're going to go off uh, fast with the Golden Slugs. Put the enemies on really hard because they, can, they have no cooldown. They can just keep spam jumping as long as they can, and I hate these enemies so much. Pretty sure they can, they can drop a various sort of items like Long Lance 1 or 2, and some other stuff they can get as well. The next enemy on the list is like probably worse than Ghast, even though like I thought they were even more terrible. It's of course the Golden Butterfly. I'm gonna put them on hard for various reasons. They do tons of damage if I if you have 120 damage, they do a lot like 20 or 30 damage. These enemies suck because of course they can clip through walls exactly exactly like Ghast. Two of the no clipping enemies are in Medina Ruins, which that's awful. You have to deal with poison too if if that wasn't worse enough. These golden butterflies can drop good stuff. I don't. People say they can drop Hell Spike, but I haven't seen really any footage of it yet. But hey, you can decide if you got it or not. Again, yeah, these gold, these guys don't really really big fan of it. And if you're playing with other people that are starting at the game, they'll knock back them away, and they'll probably will not return back. We're already at the final boss. I'm pretty sure, and of course, it's the Medina boss. This boss is really not as hard i would say because you could beat it without taking a single hit puts on hard because it does not do as much damage as the other bosses that are hard but digital boss is really cool it has doesn't have a big hitbox and you can actually beat it and it's really fun you way, way better than efficient than butterfly boss you can drop medina pieces and drop dark stone m stone all those sorts of stuff but that's quite a rare chance because you don't really get 100%. But if you play with friends that are good, they good at the game, get ready to get stacked because, yeah, you'll get a lot of good stuff. And boom, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if that was being really long. I tried my best, but I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoyed my video. And let me know if I was correct on everything else. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.